I don't know about for you, Mario, but for me, the the people in our area are are really special. You know, calm. Um, of course, they have their own people way of, of doing things, and and you still have that tradition with the, the connection to the earth, the connection to land, the connection to the soil, the farming. And I even used to take bath inside of those ceramic pieces, you know, pottery pieces. On this week's episode, I'm joined by Mario Reis. Mario was born and raised in Portugal. He lives 10 minutes from Caldas de Reina in a typical Portuguese village. And Mario is an incredibly talented ceramic artist. And for those of you who have visited the Silver Coast, seen photos of the Silver Coast or videos of the Silver Coast or documentaries about Nazare, you've probably seen Mario's work without knowing that you've seen it. Mario and I discuss, amongst other things, what Mario loves about living in this area, what he appreciates about the tradition and the heritage of the Silver Coast, where his work is featured, and for those of you that have visited Nazare and the Fort of Nazare, or taken the funicular carriage up to Sitiu, or been in the heart of Caldas de Reina, would have seen Mario's unique pieces of ceramic artwork. Mario talks about how his artwork is modern, but inspired and rooted in the tradition and heritage of this beautiful place. For those of you listening, head over to our YouTube channel to watch some of this episode. And for those of you watching, click down below and subscribe. And for the full podcast episode, go to Google, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, or wherever you get your podcasts. And now over to my conversation with Mario. Welcome back or welcome to another episode of Portugal, The Simple Life. And I'm really happy to be joined here by Mario Reis. Mario uh, Bortard, hello, and Bortard. thank you for being on the podcast. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Mario, why don't you start off by telling us uh, a little bit about you? I'm from Caldas. I mean, my family uh, is from Caldas. I live in a village 10 kilometers from Caldas. I went to live here 20 years ago with my wife. And um, now I live here with my wife and my daughter, which is very nice. It's a very nice place to work. It's quiet to concentrate. I, and I have all the nature around. Tell us a bit about the work that you do, uh, Marty. Well, what, what I do is uh, unique pieces. I came from a, a long family tradition of pottery. But okay. actually, there was a time that uh, when my one of my uncles died, I wanted to keep with my family, with the tradition of my family. Family, but uh, trying to to make a, a modern approach, a different approach to to my work, and so I use some traditional techniques and some techniques that I create myself. Basically, it's, it's that I, I I make from small pieces to very big pieces to public places, to public places, and and to orders that people do from all over the world. Um, you mentioned how you it's in the family, but uh, what was it about this form of art that that attracted you and, and drew you in? Uh, you know, uh, since I was a kid, I, I always liked to draw. I draw a lot, and that that has a lot a lot to do with my work, drawing. In many of my works, you can see drawing, you can see painting. Before I do ceramics, I, I like to draw. And then, you know, following what my family used to do, when I was very young, I, I lived a couple of years with my grandfather, and I even used to take bath inside of those ceramic pieces, you know, uh, pottery pieces. I don't know the English name for algidar, maybe bowls. Yeah, bowls, uh, bowls, yeah. Huge bowls. And I used to take bath in, in, inside of one of those. One way or, or another, that has to ma make the difference, I think, that in certain day I've, I've I thought, well, this is going to be my, my life. And uh, I just followed what they made, but... but uh, try to use my own language you know basically i'm doing what they did using the clay to express myself anybody listening that has visited nazare uh, has visited caldas de reina would have seen your work probably in some of these places maybe you can tell us a little bit about these pieces that you that you've created maybe start off in the north with with the, um, the piece that you've created in Nazareth with the the birds you know the the ones that are on the yeah the yeah, yeah the, 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 those birds those uh, seagulls uh, are in the, uh, the in the lighthouse in the fort I made them seven years ago they've been there outside in the rain and in the and um, catching all the all that salt that is is bad for everything you 
mean a lot of salt a lot of salt a lot of salt and, and they've been resisting very well yeah and they so look- they've been there yeah yeah and so I think many people go there from all over the world and uh, and, uh, and they see the that work and then they contact me or to congr- congratulate it beautiful um and then I I drive past one of your works uh, every single day I go past um by the Pont and there exactly. you have you have a, a big statue there in a, in a nice case uh tell us about a bit about that work and people need to google and and find these 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 works because they're special it was very nice to make a, a work in that street and it's very well protected you know with that glass box is is going to live forever i think <laughs> if the ones on top of the the fort of san miguel in, in nazare if those ones uh, lasted yeah. until now then something behind a nice glass box will definitely last longer why is that why is that so important to you mario to kind of hold on to those things from from the past and from our tradition well first of all i think it's a, a way to be connected with what my family made in the past that's why i use pottery not just for aesthetical reasons but also emotional reasons it's a way to keep some connection with what my family did since 18 1850 or something like that i mean five generations using pottery in my works makes me feel like i'm making something of what they did you mentioned how uh, your your work is inspired by um, the ocean and your surroundings. How does uh, our area, how does this this place inspire your work, um, Mario? Well, we fortunately we live in a wonderful area. We are surrounded with beautiful beaches. Uh, we have San Martino. I mean, if you want to go with kids, you go to San Martino, a peaceful place with peaceful waters. And just a few kilometers next, you have the biggest waves in the world. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, (laughs) this is a very very inspiring place. And then you have the biggest salt lagoon in Europe, Obidus Lagoon. Uh, It's it's, uh, very inspiring, all these natures, of course, uh, and the sea. uh, And that uh, appears a lot in my works, the sea, the fish. Surfing. Yeah, it's true. It's true. We we're very fortunate. I'm lucky. I have I have um my 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 office is in San Martino de Porto. My oh, my perfect. studio is 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 in Foz do Aurelio, which is right by the entrance of the lagoon. Yeah, I mean it, it's just so, so beautiful here. It's just stunning. Can't, can't, can't get better than that. <laughs> no, 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 no. And then and then you know Nazare just. 10 minutes to go watch the biggest waves in the world uh so in yeah, terms of the it's ocean crazy. It's, yeah. i mean what do you want people to know about this this area that's deeper than what's on uh the uh what they will see on a documentary or on an instagram post yeah for that you you have to you have to come to these places and you have you have to feel them like before i i i, I knew i always knew nazare but before i make these works i was always there uh, walking around in the streets to get inspired to make uh, my works and i think it's the only now to really know the places it's to to walk around and especially you know turn on a street that nobody goes there turn get lost in, in nazare has a lot of that those very straight streets that there's not many people there, but uh, there's a lot of their identity there. People w- w- with their clothes on the window and with the w- washing, the clothes washing tank on the, how do you say, veranda? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where you see the truly identity. Not so much in the bars or in the restaurants, but uh, you, you have to get lost in the middle of that. I don't know about for you, Mario, but for me, the the people in in our area are are, are really special. You know, calm. Um, of course, they have their own people way of of doing things, and and you still have that tradition with the the connection to the earth, the connection to land, the connection to the soil, the farming, the. Um, the, the 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 ceramic work the ocean the fishermen i think it's something quite beautiful yeah you you, you can still see that in azure they didn't lose that and uh, you can still see the, the fish boats uh, getting in and getting out you can see the same in peniche and uh, in peniche you can see them going out for fishing they still live a lot from the fishing everybody here farms they they, they 
I, I might be the only one that doesn't farm the land because uh, m my time I spend it on, on working on in the clay. But uh, I have a lot of my neighbors that they they all used to farm, you know. I mean, Mario, the the it's quite an in, um, a manual, manually intensive work. Uh, it's not something that just happens very quickly. It's something that takes that takes time, like like all good things. You mentioned how you you dry your your ceramics in in the sunlight. T just tell us a little bit about the technique the technique that goes into into creating these sculptures and, and the work that you do. I used to say that creativity it comes if you work. It's important the the creativity creativity but you have to work a lot because working it gives you experience to try other things and creativity is a little bit connected to that it's a little bit like dreaming awake you know you you can do whatever you you feel like you know and i get inspired a lot i use uh, a lot of lot animals in my ceramic like cats uh, birds and sometimes I make, I personify them, uh, making, I, I put them like humans, you know? Yes. Uh, you give them a personality. Doing like human, yes. human. Yeah, exactly, exactly. What's one thing that you would like people to remember and to take away from our conversation? One thing. The importance of uh, our identity, because that's the beginning of the whole thing. I mean, wanting to do these things, uh, I mean, has a lot to do with the identity of uh, of the places. Well, I think that's the one good thing I, I would like people to to take of this conversation. Uh, one more question, and a question that we ask all of our our guests: Portugal, the simple life. Why? Because why is so simple? I mean, we just have to to enjoy the place, go with the flow, do whatever we feel like in those places. I think it's a uh, simple life. It's uh, it's what, what we can have in these places. Have a simple life. Do simple things. Don't don't do uh, don't complicate like seeing a sunset. Go to the beach. Look at the sea. Simple things. Walk near the the coast. It's what you can do in these places do simple things don't have to do much more than that yeah it's the best is to do the simple things yeah i like it mario thank you so much uh thank you for being a guest on the podcast i've enjoyed our conversation thank you so much thank you so much and and now you can call it <laughs> that's a wrap so thank you once again to our guest and thank you to all of you for listening please subscribe share with your friends give us a thumbs up and please leave a comment or a review. We always love to hear from you. Don't forget, Portugal The Simple Life also has a magazine, so download it. It's for free. We'll be back next week with a brand new episode. And as we say in Portugal, Cesar's bem-vindo. Welcome to The Simple Life.